Hello, everybody. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to join today's webinar. Uh, today's webinar is called Develop KPIs for Your Sales and Marketing Department in Sugar CRM. My name is Josh Bailey. It's June 26, 2013, and I'm with E2B Technologies. Uh, we'll get started today and dive into it. So today we're going to talk about how you can leverage Sugar CRM to provide the insight you need to drive key business decisions with KPIs. We'll start by talking about what KPIs are and what they can do for you. Then we'll be covering some of the real general benefits of using a strong reporting system. And we'll talk about common issues businesses may have and how those issues can be resolved with KPIs in a business intelligence system such as Sugar. Then I'll tell you about what Sugar can do in regards to its reporting functionalities. I'll cover some of the reporting features of Sugar, tell you how some of this functionality can be utilized within your organization. Then we'll dive into a live demo of Sugar and I'll show you a few of the KPIs utilized within our own system for our business. We will close with a little overview of who we are, E2B Technologies, and then I'll give you my contact info if you have any questions or want to reach out. So what are KPIs? KPIs, as you probably already know, are key performance indicators. They're basically measurements of your success. For instance, if you're engaged in several marketing campaigns, you'll want to know the success or return on those campaigns. You want to know what types of interactions you're getting on your campaigns, and you want to know how much money each campaign is making you. Sugar CRM is able to deliver key performance indicators with its robust reporting capabilities. If you want to see which marketing campaigns are generating the most business, for instance, Sugar can do that. If you want to see your current sales wins for the month related to a specific product, Sugar can do that. If you want to see uh, projected sales wins, Sugar can do that. If you want to see which channels your leads are coming from, which of those leads are converted into business, and how much money each channel is making you, Sugar can do that as well. Sugar provides key performance indicators for your entire business. So you can measure your eff efforts in marketing, sales, support, or really any touch of customer interaction. So Sugar CRM helps to provide better visibility across your business. Reports can be built into your home dashboard of Sugar, and they automatically refresh when your data changes to provide real-time metrics. Since Sugar's reports can be built off any metric or piece of data you have in the system, you can easily monitor the effectiveness of any campaign or segment of information you store within Sugar be it marketing programs, sales opportunities, support cases, and whatnot. These reports can then be shared with your internal workforce, or you can restrict access to certain reports or particular teams of individuals if you wish. Most importantly, Sugar provides executive level oversight for your business. Managers can develop a clear view of their entire company from one concise location, using reports to understand what has happened at your business and then you can have the ability to forecast what will happen at your business. So let's look at some typical issues businesses might have and how they can be resolved using Sugar CRM reporting. So the first issue, businesses often have trouble understanding how their marketing efforts affect their sales. One of the many solutions Sugar provides is reporting that can easily track the results of leads generated by marketing. Additionally, reports can measure the return on investment of your programs across your sales channel by evaluating which marketing campaigns generate the most business and want opportunities for your sales. This allows you to understand how leads are generated and which marketing programs work. The next issue is that businesses might experience poor visibility into their performance. Well, since reports can be built directly into dashboards, managers can build out entire panels on their dashboard to track and identify things 
such as their one loss rates, competitive deals, and lead sources. Managers are also able to create reliable forecasts on team and campaign activities, understanding which future efforts will return what results, and even forecasting how much money can be gained or lost from each impending activity or campaign. This allows managers to gain the insight they need to drive their business. Finally, businesses often have trouble understanding why their customers are defecting. They might have an increasing customer turnaround, or they might have customers that aren't receiving the quality of services that they should be. Well, Sugar can build customer reports on service requests, bugs, case resolutions, and response times. This allows you to identify small customer problems before they become much larger problems. So as far as dashboards are concerned, as I mentioned before, Sugar has advanced dashboards that are completely user configurable and can hold reports and data based on any variable within Sugar. The reports and dashboards display information in real time and are refreshed periodically. These charts and reports can be shared across individuals, teams, or the entire company. For marketing, Sugar provides many out-of-the-box reports, but you can also create your own report based on any data that you want to pull out, whether that's data from custom fields that you've created in your modules or pre-existing fields that are already inherent within the system. Reports such as the one here on the bottom can show the return on investment you're getting from individual marketing campaigns. Reports help you to track which channels are the most or least profitable so that you can direct your attention and efforts into these areas. Then campaigns can be replicated easily to keep your profitable campaigns consistent and weed out the ones that aren't working as well. From a sales standpoint, reports allow you to pull out user-specific information about opportunities so that you can monitor the work and progress of opportunities assigned to individual sales reps. This data can be consolidated to be reviewed by executives and managers, for instance. Users can drill down on reports directly from their dashboard so they can get a full understanding of the data behind a report and understand what a report really means. For instance, if I was a product manager, I could see from my dashboard a funnel report of all the active, active opportunities for a particular product and what stage and dollar amount make up the funnel. I can then drill down in that funnel right from the report to see what individual opportunities it is comprised of. Cases are another area of Sugar CRM that provide rich in-depth reporting for key performance indicators. It's easy to build a simple report or monitor the effectiveness of case reporting and get a quick view of how many open cases are out there, how many are being responded to, how many have closed, and so forth. These reports can then be utilized to identify and prioritize customer problems. You can also measure how issues are being resolved across individuals and teams. For instance, if you can create a report to show all open cases that haven't been touched in over 30 days, even more, you can get a notification or email automatically sent to whoever is managing cases that haven't been touched in 30 days with the reports attached to that notification. Now, for a customer relationship management system to be truly effective, it has to be able to obviously manage your customer relationships. Sugar allows you to evaluate customers based on profiles and key demographics so that you can fully understand your customer base. You can segment any data you have and produce metrics on demographics such as industry, revenue, individual's job title, geography, and any other attribute or demographic that you want to filter on. Sugar's reporting capabilities far exceed other CRM systems because all of the customer data and even relationship data between contacts and their accounts and opportunities can be segmented and built into reports without uh, having to rely on you know, extra costs or upgrading.
So now we'll cut to a live demo and I'll show you some of the key performance indicators that we use regularly to track our own business goals. And you can you know, build sim similar reports into your own system. So here is the Sugar CRM dashboard. Uh, this is fully customizable, uh, drag and drop. You know, I can pull this over here if I want to. I can build this out into uh, three panels, two, one. And then I can build it into, you know, as many tabs as I want up here. Uh, I can really just add any, they call them dashlets, these little windows. I can add as many dashlets as I want. And these dashes can be, dashlets can be pulled from um, reports or activity streams or really any of the data that you want to see within your CRM system. So here's our sugar dashboard that we have built out for the marketing department. Um, one of the reports that we like to use a lot, which is a great key performance indicator, is this leads by campaign report. This is showing which, which of our campaigns are creating the most leads. Uh, sugar has great lead forms that you can put on your website or on your blog, and you can tie them to, we have them tied to like white papers, videos, uh, any piece of content or just regular contact forms that you want to um, put on your website, Sugar provides those contact forms, and then you can see which of those contact forms are generating the most amount of leads. So we can see that this 17 Things white paper is generating uh, the most leads out of all of our campaigns. And then going forward, uh, maybe we would realize that, you know, white papers are generating a lot of leads, so maybe we can put more effort into white papers and less effort into things uh, such as ROI calculators. So that's one really effective report that uh, we use a lot within Sugar. If you click on the marketing tab over here, uh, we just started using this re recently, but um, we built lead source IDs into our campaign forms, the lead forms that we have on our website. So there's lead source IDs in there, so we can actually see not only which campaigns are getting the most leads is in that report, but also we can see where those are coming from. If there, we have uh, contact forms on our email signatures, so we can see that our email signatures have brought in a few leads on those campaigns, and also um, our blog has brought in a few, and partners have brought in a few as well. Uh, this is also another great report to have. This is the actual um, conversion into business of those campaigns. So we can see that this white paper has brought in this much money and this white paper has brought in this much money. Uh, Sugar tracks this automatically. This isn't any you know custom report you need to build. Once you create a lead form, it's automatically tied to a campaign. Once that camp or once that lead is converted into a contact or opportunity, that campaign stays attached to that opportunity. So that once that opportunity is converted to a one opportunity, or once you win that deal, uh, Sugar will track that the campaign that that opportunity was tied to um, has brought in you know that much revenue for your company, which is really useful to have. And then lastly, we'll show you this sort of monthly marketing report that's pretty useful. So we'll drill into this. So here's a report where we can see, uh, it's broken down by product, these are all product names, and we can see where we're getting leads for each of our products. Uh, for instance, our Anytime Collect product is, has 16 leads that came from web requests. We got two leads for that product that came from referrals and so forth. Um, for Anytime Supply Chain product, we got 48 leads that came from advertising. Uh, and you can really just kind of segment which, which of your, uh, which efforts are really generating the most leads, even by a specific product. And you can really break this out, break this report out however you want. Uh, Sugar is incredibly customizable, and there's really no limit to how you want to segment these reports to show you the information you want to see. So that really concludes the webinar for today as far as key performance indicators in Sugar CRM. Let's tell you a little bit about who we are, E2B Technologies. Uh, we also develop other business-to-business -business solutions for the cloud, and we resell ERP software. Some of our applications include that we develop 
uh, Anytime Collect, which is an accounts receivable collections management module. Anytime Commerce, which is a business to business, but also does business to consumer. Uh, E-commerce storefront. Anytime Supply Chain, which is a sales forecasting MRP uh, supply chain management solution. Anytime Assets, our cloud-based asset management database. And we develop a few more as well. Some of the software that we resell, we resell Epicor 9 ERP, Intact Financials, Sage 500 ERP, and as you would guess, we also resell Sugar CRM. So with that, there's my contact information. If you have any questions about Sugar CRM at all, or you just want to reach out to us, uh, let me know, give me a call, send me an email, and I will get right back to you. Thanks again for coming out to today's webinar, and have a great day.